there's a long history of robotics at JPL. Um, and people, you know, think about the, the Mars rovers, uh, the Sojourner, which was the first one that, that roved. Uh, but, you know, one of the nice things working at JPL is, is you had, then it wasn't a lot of security. So you could just kind of wander as a student, as long as you're an employee. Um, and there was some early work, for example, on uh, basically telemedicine. Um, and of course it was, you know, when we go into space and we send people, how are we going to do surgery? And so I remember in one of the labs, uh, I was there was a researcher that showed me and I kind of was like, oh, how does this work? Because they were always interested in talking about what they did. It was basically a manipulator that was doing eye surgery. So, I mean, think about like early Da Vinci. And, and this was, you know, back in, what was that, like 94, 95. And, and so there was there was a lot in robotics at JPL. And I was like in, in my... This was nirvana to me because I wanted to do robotics uh, in that. Um, so the Sojourner and the Mars rovers, those were really the you know summarization of all the good stuff that was going on in robotics over generations, pretty much over many, many, many years, and even you know twenty-ish, thirty-ish years uh, before the world saw what robots was. Were you at at JPL when the first landings on Mars happened? Yes. It was in the summer. In fact, it was very seminal because it was July. It was very close to July 4th, if not July 4th, um, which actually represents a lot, in at least in the United States. Uh, so I was there that summer. And, um, you, you know, I'm going to tell a little story. Was Sojourner was, was, was considered what's called a science mission uh, versus a exploration mission. So there was no... Um, you know, with Mars Rover, there was a, there was a strategy of Mars exploration. The Sojourner was one of these missions where, um, hey, let's let's go, let's let's test out the technology. Technology demonstration was really the focus, uh, but no one knew if it was going to work or not, right? Because it was the first time, and it was like, and it's technology demonstration, which basically uh, we can decode that to lab work for NASA, right? Like there's deployment, real world deployment, and then there's the stuff you do in the lab. It's like, oh, that's so cute. This was NASA's, oh, that's so cute, kind of thing but in NASA kind of terminology. Um, but it was exciting because one, you know, no one was really paying attention, honestly. The world was not paying attention. We were because we were like, oh, robotics. But it was successful. And, and that was the really, the I think the seminal kind of trigger was that it was successful. No one was, was watching. No one really cared. The budget for it was pitiful. I'm just going to tell you, it was like, really pitiful. I mean, the scientists and engineers were, were scraping it together, and yet it was successful. 